Newton just now. Those are the words of a man named John Newton. A man who was a captain of a ship that used to trade slaves. One of the days, as he is doing his daily thing, he is faced with a storm. And he remembers his mother. He was taught a religion just like us when he was growing up. Mm. And he forgot the religion. Mm. But the time came when he was trading. Mm. When he was at work, a storm arose. Mm. And he remembered the religion that he was taught. Mm. And he started writing the word. Mm. Amazing grace. Mm. It is grace that will take me from this storm and take me home. Yes, Lord. It is this grace that I will hold on to mm. that will take me home. Mm. Why am I telling you this? There is a man that we find again in the book of Psalm 34. He starts his psalm in a very funny way. Mm. He says, Oh. 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 Taste the Lord. Oh, yeah. You don't hear what this man says. When he starts his message, he starts it in a funny way. He starts it in a way of a man who is happy. He says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Why is this man saying, Taste that the Lord is good? The reason why he is saying this, we find. The background of the story in First Samuel chapter 21, David was a man who was favored by God. Mm. And there came a time when they were faced with the war, the Philistines and, and uh, uh, King Saul. King Saul says to David, or says to his army, whoever will defeat these people, I will give him my daughter. Mm. If you follow with the story, then David becomes that man. <laughs> When David becomes that man, it does not end there. King Saul hates David because David has defeated the Philistines. David is not hated because he did something wrong. He is hated because he did something good. Mm. Let me say to you, sometimes you don't need to do mm. bad things to be hated. Mm. The good things can make you be hated. Mm. As he continues, 1 Samuel 21, going to, to 11, he goes on to, to, to a king called King Akish. When he gets there, it's bad because he's a wanted man. As he is a wanted man, he is not recognized by the king himself, but he is recognized by the servants of the king. They recognize that this is the David who fought in war and he defeated 10,000. They were singing a song and said, Saul defeated thousands. But David defeated 10,000. They recognized him not because of his face, but because of what he has done. What do people recognize him? And David realizes that the situation is tense now because he's a wanted man. He comes up with a trick. He plays a mad man. He becomes mad in the presence of the king. Mm -hmm. But this displeases the king. The king says to his servants, Do I need a mad man in my territory? Mm -hmm. Remember, David is not mad. He is a wanted man and he is looking for a way to escape. So he pretends as if he is mad. Mm -hmm. Then the king says, Do I need a mad man, a mad man in my territory? Mm -hmm. I don't need such men. But tell this man to go. So David is delivered because he pretended to be mad. Then when he is leaving, the territory of King Akish. That is when he goes, he is a happy man. That is when he starts singing this song. He says, oh, test. You're not following. That is when David goes on, when he leaves that place. And he goes on, he sings like a happy man. There are many things that you can say when you are happy. Mm. As Africans, there are many expressions that you can see when you are happy. Mm. But David chooses, chooses to use an expression that says, Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Mm. Because David has been delivered from King Akish. Mm. Mm. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Taste and see. Mm. The song that was sang, Amazing Grace. Mm. 
the man saw the amazing grace of God when he, when he was faced with the storm. Mm. I want to say to us, sometimes we need the storms in our life so that we can see the grace of God. Amen. The storms are not there to defeat us. Mm. They are there to show us that God's grace can sustain us. Yes. Because when John Newton writes the song, he sees the grace of God because he is in the storm. When he was up there, he didn't see that God's grace is sufficient mm. enough. But he recognizes that God is sufficient enough to pull me through when he is faced with a storm. Mm. And David again, he sees that God is good when he has escaped the snails of Satan, when he has escaped the snails of King Saul, that's when he starts to write and he says, oh, taste and see that God is good. And this, 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 this line is an interesting line because I cannot make you test something, but you need to test that on your own. Yes. And he says, test and see. Mm. To be practical, <clears throat> when you need to eat something, you see what you want to eat. Mm. You don't eat that which you don't see. Mm. But David reverses this and he says, no, test it and then you eat it. Mm. Are you following? Mm. The reason why David is saying, test and see that the Lord is good. Mm. When you test, then you will see that the Lord is good. Because when you test, the three senses that are involved. The moment you test, you smell. The moment you test, you touch. That's why he says, test and see that the Lord is good. Because not only one sense is involved, but three of them. Test and see that the Lord is good. And the last line says, Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Blessed is the man who trusts in God. This action on its own is not only an action, but it's an action that comes with a blessing. It's an action that benefits you who is testing. It's an action that involves you as an individual. When David says, test and see, he is saying, you have learned about the religion, but have you tested the religion? John Newton knew the religion that he was taught by his mother, but he only tested the religion when he was faced with the storm. That is when it became practical to him. Sometimes our religion is too theoretical. We don't know how it feels to taste it. Okay. Okay. Test and see that the Lord is good. It doesn't help to come here. When you don't have a testimony to tell about your religion, test and see that it is good. It might seem like this worship is not doing any good to you. Mm. It might seem like things are not working out for you. Mm. To some of us, it might even seem like we have stayed for too long at Helderberg. Mm. And it seems like we are not going nowhere. Mm. But let me tell you something. It seemed like that when John Newton wrote the song. He says, this grace that has brought me this far, it is the same grace that will take me out of this place. I want to say to us, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. And blessed is the man that trusts in that God. This blessing is not only a blessing. When you test, you are blessed. It's an action way. You are testing and it's continuous. Test and see that the Lord is good. And you will be blessed. Amen.